everybody welcome back to my channel today we're working on an 11 by 14 canvas it's a black primed canvas and for this painting i'm going to be starting off with a filbert brush this is a number nine i've got titanium white and just a little bit of mars black burnt sienna and yellow ochre okay so if you guys are all ready to get started let's begin i'm going to get my brush just a little bit wet and i'm going to start with a little bit of white and a little bit of black and we'll make a light to medium gray tone and i'm going to come in with the lighter areas here first so we've got this swoop that comes down here at the top and then we've got a little bit of a pattern here kind of speckled or spotted on the little feathers so all I'm doing is just kind of roughing this in first, just a very rough uh, underpainting here first, just so we get the basic shape and idea going, and then we can come in and add our details after. I know that we're gonna have little wisps of hair that come out here, so I'll just add a little pull and flick like this. Then there's gonna be a little bit of hair on the outer part of the other eye. We can leave this area black right in here. So this area right here for just a little hint of another eyeball that we can't really see. I'll just softly dry brush here, just pulling in like this or you can pull out as well just for the hair in between the eyes and where the beak is and they'll come in with the rest of the shape pretty much just comes down slightly arched straight down but just a little bit of a bow or an arch right there and then out for some feathers so the feathers are super easy, especially when you're using a little brush like this. And we've got this black underpainting because what that does is it gives us that instant contrast shadow um, and the darker feathers, darker patches. And right in here, we've got a black beak. So we can just come in here and outline it's going to start in between the eyes. We'll have another eye above here and that eye there. And then down to a curve like that. We'll round that out and uh, adjust the detail a little bit after. So there's the outline. Now we can come in right here and uh, the lighter areas for the feathers. Just little pulls and flicks. You can even create a little scoop if you like. Just a few little wispy hairs right here. And we'll just start layering in with some more feathers. You want to grab a little bit more of the white than the light gray, but still have a little bit of that gray in your brush. That way we can start bringing this out and shading and highlighting a little bit more. I'm going to go off the canvas and start to turn my brush slightly diagonally. Notice how I'm leaving darker patches. So 
so it's okay to layer in fact you want to that's how you're going to get that um, nice layered look that's going to make your bird look 3d so we've got that swoop shape that comes down and it goes right in here where we're going to have our eye and then it starts to pull out I'm going to pull just a little bit more of that black right in there and I'm going to just tap my finger here to steady my hand and hold it in place and I'm going to line my brush up and pull and flick out then with a little bit of water not washing my brush off but just picking up a little bit more of that white I'm going to come in here Now I have to go over my beak and make it a little bit darker, but I just want to show you the direction we're going to be taking the little fur or feathers here. And then almost, almost up into a point there for the owl's eye, big eye, and we'll adjust the size recording if we have to and we probably will it's all about doing one little step at a time taking your time and working through the layers up to the finished product however long that takes try to enjoy the process you guys especially when you're working on something that has multi layers like this now this technique, all I'm doing is tapping in my light gray with a side, the edge of my brush, and to create those smaller feathers, I'm just tapping like this, because there's different sizes. So where there's little tiny ones, you just tap, tap, tap. And then where they're a bit narrower, you can tap and pull. And same with up here. We're going to go right above here. And then we're going to start to come out this way. Just with a dry brush. And we can come in without washing a brush. Take a little bit of this black here. And we can come in between. So I'm just taking a little bit more black and just cutting in. I didn't wash my brush off. Remember, there's a little bit of that gray going on there still. I'm gonna make the eye bigger. So the eye comes in really dark there in the corner and I'm not going to worry about the inside of the eye and all the details that I just want to get the shape first so I'm just going to paint that all in and it's not even solid black you can see it's like a deep gray because I've got a bit of that gray in my brush too and then I'll just add a little hint of black there for that eye while I've got my black here, I'm going to now come in outline this beak a little bit better and make it nice and dark because we're going to have those feathers 
coming out over top of the beak. I'm going to try this technique here by just kind of pulling from the beak and in towards the eye. That's going to give us a, a neat feathery look and help out, helps out when we come in with those final feathers. And then bring the beak down a little bit lower. This is where you can switch over to a smaller brush if you like for um, getting the outline a little bit better and I'm going to be doing that after. Um, I'm just going to come in here with a little bit of the black and I'll add some darker feathers here and there in between. And then I'm really excited to get my next brush out to show you guys some great techniques. Be super easy and save you a lot of time when painting feathers. And then just pick up a little bit of white. Um, the beak is round and it's gonna have a bit of a shine to it. So I'm gonna place a little bit of white right there and gently pull down. Let's try that again with a little bit more paint this time. Gently push, pull, and then let off. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys this really cool brush that I absolutely love and I find it really, really effective for painting um, grass, hair, feathers, fences, anything that has a lot of lines in it. It's really great for painting feathers. So I'm gonna get it wet first. So you can see I've got a nice medium to light gray color here, loaded my brush up. And again, I'm gonna start right here with the edge, pull. Need some more paint on my brush. Really start to take it over and flick. I'm not worried about going over top of the eye and messing that up because it's not really even uh, done yet at all, right? So it's okay. We just need it there so we know where everything's placed and we can line these feathers up in our brush. So see how wispy you can get those little feathers and hairs to look. We'll go over here. Look at that, just a light little feathers and the brush does the work for you it's just such a great brush we're going to bring some feathers off the other side here and then start coming down around here I'm just making the same light gray, a little bit of, a little bit extra white sometimes. And we're going to cut right where that beak is. Around the outside there. What this brush does is it gives um, those spaces where we need them to be so we can see the other colors underneath. See, just like that. For me, this brush technique here really gives you those realistic looking feathers and effortlessly. OK, 
cut right in there. Get close to that eyeball. And just continue with the direction. And then we can go from here. There's a bit of a pattern. You see, it's so easy. You just turn the brush this way. And I'm going to take more black. So really load up my brush. No water. And from here, I'm going to pull and then curve, curve, and then twist and turn my brush. And then wiggle and squiggle again. We can make the same types of feathers. Or shadows, just by picking up some black. I accidentally picked up a little bit of white there, but that looks fine. I don't even worry about that. Owls are one of my favorite birds and favorites to paint. I just think they're really beautiful, mysterious birds. I've been lucky enough uh, over the past uh, four, four and a half years of living here on Vancouver Island to see them up close. We have barred owls here. They're an unusual uh, breed of owl that actually are not nocturnal, so they hunt during the day instead of at night. I'm going to just outline the eye now, just using a little bit of white. And wherever there's a little bit more dense feathers and hairs together, I'll just come in here and wisp, make these little wisps. So you guys can see, I've been demonstrating different brushes that you can use. If you don't have the rake fan, you can just use a little filbert or a round brush. I'm going to go back over to this rake fan. See, I'm just lining it up right as close as I can get to the beak. Add a little bit more white here for a brighter highlight. See, as it dries, then I can keep coming. We can keep adding and building up our highlights. Line it up, push and drag. We'll start working on that again. A few more feathers. Some brighter white ones this time. I'm 
gonna take a little bit more white. And I'm just gonna go right off the canvas. Just paint these little baby feathers. All these small little feathers. And we're going to have tiny little scoops in here. So just taking the very tip of my brush. That's all we're doing, just little scoops. Again, little lines. I'm going to do a little white dab right there for the light on its eyeball. Take off some of this paint off my brush. And let's see if we can come in here now. Put a little bit, a little bit more right here, leaving that space outlined black on the end. A little bit more white. Just bring it up a little bit at a time. Alright, so now the next step. We're going to start working on the detail, the color of the eye, and I'm going to start with my yellow ochre. You can see I've got burnt sienna here as well. Look for a full list below the video in the description area, just in case you guys miss the colors or you're not sure about what I'm using. So this is going to be dark in here, but I'm just going to do this color first. We're going to come close to that white flicker of light or highlight. Then we're going to come down, push get really close to the outlined part. And then again, right close to the edge. I'll do another layer here. Oh, yellow ochre is such a good color for its eyes. Kind of really brighten this up right on the outside of the black. And you can pull and flick for little, those little hairs that are really gonna show up against the beak and just create some more layers. So again, just add a little bit more white here to make it really bright. I'm gonna take a bit of yellow ochre with my white and I'm gonna place my finger here. I'm gonna start right here and try to do it in one stroke. So I'll demonstrate again, white and yellow ochre Push gently, come around, and take a little bit of yellow ochre and burnt sienna now for the rest of the color. We'll ease into it, so first we'll have more yellow ochre than the burnt sienna. And we'll start on that side, and then have it just meet where it's really bright. Straight burnt sienna this time. Taking some black now. Don't let this go over this.
I'm going to use a favorite brush, my number eight. And I'm going to just take a little bit of that burnt sienna yellow ochre that I had for part of the eye. And I'm just going to simply do a light filter over. So filtering just means that the black and white, the gray scale is dry and this is transparent, what we're adding here, okay? It's transparent, a little bit of water if you need it. You can either do a dry brush or a little bit of water. Um, you just wanna make sure that black and white underpainting is dry. And then we can come in and add little hints. You can add less or more than what I'm showing here completely up to you and whatever type of painting you're going for if you want something and experiment too it's really fun to experiment you could do a few of these and it'll make you a really good artist it'll make you get um, skilled really quickly if you paint this a few times and try it out in different colors And black and white is nice as well. One I did uh, last year or the year before was all uh, black and white. And that was really fun to do. Now I'm gonna go and add a little bit of my burnt sienna. There's quite a few um, owl tutorials out lately. Art Sherpa has a great one. Um, Michelle the Painter has a great one. I like to recommend artists that uh, I admire and I think are putting out some great content out there. So um, have a look at their channel if you haven't. They've got some wonderful tutorials out there and they explain things really well, step by step. Um, and if you want to learn a few different techniques on how to paint owls, then it's a good idea to look around and see what other artists have out there to offer. We can learn from every artist. Everyone's got something different and unique to teach us. I'm going to use my fan rake brush again. And I'm going to go into my white. I'm going to add the finishing touches. Just more bright highlights. A little bit of water on there, but not too much. If you use too much water, you're just gonna thin the paint out and it's gonna to be too transparent and not show up enough. We'll take his brow down a little bit more. And fluff up this area. I'm going to do something a little different right here. I'm just tapping, just pushing and tapping like this for some different types of feathers that they have. They get a little bit small right here.
And then I'll make some more narrow ones here. I've just taken a little bit of yellow ochre, water, and white. Whoops. I think I caught that right away. And we'll add the finishing feathers here. I'm going to just push and tap here. And I'm going to quickly come in with a little bit of black. A little bit more of that white and the yellow ochre. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. I always look forward to painting with you and seeing your versions of my paintings. It's a lot of fun to see what you guys come up with. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more and to stay up to date on all my new tutorials and paintings. You can check out the links below. Have a wonderful day. Stay happy, positive, healthy out there, guys, and keep on painting. I'll see you next time. Bye!